The next NBA defensive breakdown we have is sink and fill. So this will continue with our trend of help defense. So Donovan Mitchell right here is rotating over as a low defender. Now, this defender right here has to get to the offensive player in the corner. So he has to sink down, take that offensive player, and then this defender is filling. So based off the threat of the offense right here, off of this offensive player and this offensive player, he has to take the next pass. And then you can see it's a full rotation, but it's a really good rotation from the Jazz. Donovan Mitchell once again rotates up. They force a tough contested mid-range jumper. Now on this drive right here, the low defender right here has to put out the fire of the offensive player driving. Now this defender has to sink below the level of the ball. So you can see he's starting to sink right here to the shooter. Then this defender fills, so he takes the next offensive threat, which you can see he intercepts that pass. That's a great example right here from the Jazz. Watch again. So when James Harden drives, Rudy Gobert is attempting to meet him at the rim. Ricky Rubio right here sinks down to the dunker spot. This defender has to sink right here to this offense player. Donovan Mitchell peels off to go right here to take the shooter. Just great rotation. Right here, you can see Danny Green puts out the fire. Now Kawhi has to sink to get to this shooter at the corner. He does. Great job. Watch that peel back, too. Watch what Kawhi does. So he rotates over. Danny Green takes the ball because he blows by Kawhi. Then Kawhi is going to peel back to this offense player right here, and that creates a turnover. Right here on the drive, you can see he attempts to meet him outside the box. He avoids the charge. He swings it to the corner right here. Chris Middleton has to sink. So his responsibility is now take the ball. And then Eric Bledsoe takes the next offensive threat. So he's filling. Right here is another great example. Boris Diaw takes the corner shooter. Gets a great high hand contest. You can see that rotation. Toronto is so good. That team that won the world championship. They're so good at sinking and filling and then taking the next offensive player. So right here on this drive, Rudy Gobert puts out the fire. Joe Ingles right here has a responsibility to sink below the level of the ball. He does a great job of playing two right there. That's a perfect example. That's a great job of sinking from right here. Watch this defender. He sinks right there to take that pass to get to the shooter. You can see right here, you'll also have to sink down to the dunker spot. So JaVale McGee right here is in the dunker spot. Eric Bledsoe has to sink down and take that. And when you get your hand up like that, that can take away the threat in the corner too. This is just excellent from Ricky Rubio. Watch this example again. He's right here. Joe Ingles steps up to stop Harden's drive. He has to sink right here. Great job reading the eyes of Harden, knowing that pass is coming. Next in our NBA defensive breakdown, we have Xing out. So right here, this defender is attempting to play two when he sinks. Now, because Harden makes this pass, he takes the first pass. So when he's playing two, Pascal Siakam right here, he's going to take the wing. Fred Van Fleet peels off, and he has to take the next offensive threat. So you can see it's an X. The rotation is an X out is what it's called in the NBA. On that drive, they're going to hit Rudy Gobert. Now when he passes it right here, this defender is taking the ball because that's the offensive threat, the ball. And then Kyle Lowry has to X out to take Joe Ingles right here at the break and gets a high hand contest. That's an X. So in this next example, just watch the pattern right here. So you can see Pascal Siakam is going to take the offensive threat right here. And then Kyle Lowry has to peel off and X out to take the corner shooter. You can see it forms an X. Teams will practice this a ton. Is If you're weak side right here and you take this offensive player right here so you can see Giannis sprints out, George Hill's responsibility now is to take the next offensive player. Similar how we talked about in sink and fill is you sink below the level of the ball and then the fill takes the next offensive threat. So in this example, Terry Rozier, who's weak side as the low man, 
the ball comes to Danny Green, he flies out to take the ball right here. So that means Morris has to fly to the corner right there to form that X out so they can get a high hand contest on that corner shooter. Watch the Marcus Cousins right here. He has to rotate over. And now once Sean Livingston takes the corner shooter, he recognizes that. So he has to take Danny Green, the next offensive threat. And you can see he runs him off the line right here and creates another pass, creates a rotation. Even right there, watch Tony Allen. So he's helping right here. Jeff Green takes the next offensive threat, which is Steph Curry. You have to take him. And then Tony Allen recognizes that. So he has to take the next offensive player right here. Great job from Marcus All right here. He recognizes the corner shooters, the open man and the offensive threat and has to rotate over. This is another great example. Watch Torrey Craig right here. He's rotating over as a low defender. See the ball in the air right here. Paul Millsap has to take that. He points right there. Take corner, take corner right there. You can see his hand is out. And then he's going to take the next offensive threat right at the wing. Great job from Torrey Craig recognizing that. This is a great example. James Harden right here is going to sink down into the dunker spot. Take away that pass. Austin Rivers has a responsibility to fill. So he's playing two. Once the ball comes to the corner, he has to take that. P.J. Tucker has to X out to take that. Next offensive threat, and then Jeff Green rotates. Great rotation from the Houston Rockets.